it's game or well, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up. It's Upland! Monopoly in the real world, based on real properties out there. Based on real money, so maybe gambling? Then we'll, we'll let the uh, Congress figure out that one. Who wouldn't want to be grapes? Create and participate in a new economy built on the blockchain. It's the code word of the century. Fiat out. That means I believe you can get real money, but it's coming soon. Get your money back soon. <laughs> Very soon. Soon you'll be able to construct buildings on your properties and open real digital businesses. Imagine franchising a Starbucks, a McDonald's in Upland. <laughs> Amazing. Technology. Oh, wait, I have to just click one of these? I can't just, like, randomly explore the whole world? Fair Start Act. Wow, we already got legislation coming in. Uh, be sure to pick a few of these up. You wanna wanna make sure to get a little of those altcoins out there just to make sure you get your feet wet, you know? Get your feet wet. Take a train. This is just mundane to the max. You'll see property that is likely more expensive than Brooklyn. You're gonna go into Manhattan and you're gonna see a lot of things that you maybe wanna buy and you may be gonna enjoy, but you're poor, so don't do that. Don't, don't get too caught up in the glitz and glamour of New York, you damn Brooklyner. Get a bonus after completing your first property purchase in Upland. Ooh, I get to spend money to make money. Oh, hi Grape, hi fellow Grape. You have some things though, Brian. Brian. He's got more net worth than me. He got six properties and four collections. Wow, look at that. He's just running around town owning shit. So are you telling me I should buy this? Like, why are they informing like, hey, 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 we got we got this property on you. It's on the cheap, okay? Why don't you take it? It's it's a bit of a fixer upper, okay? Just a little bit of a fixer upper. It's got no foundation. But you can pick it up real cheap. Wow, it's that's gonna take half my money. Can I, can I try to pick another FSA, a cheaper one? How's, how are you, how much are you? Two four, this was how much? Two nine. See, but am I going for cheap property? Is that a better thing or a bad thing? A am I, am I making a mistake? This property is out of range. So, well, I could walk, right? Oh, oh, that's a little, that's a little invasive. Um, why, why am I floating away? Hello? Everybody seems to be floating away. Uh, do I like move with Wasad? It is very unconventional indeed, Zeke. Very unconventional, arguably not a game. I'm trying to amass more properties by buying cheap properties. More is always better. I don't think that's true, but it sounds right. And I still don't know how to move my block explorer. He seems to just move of his own accord, my grapes. No, he's just kind of floating away, just softly. Softly floating away. Are there any FSA properties here? Maybe I want to be near the train terminal. That would make a lot of sense. Let's try that. Oh. Oh, and it costs money to take the train. Those bastards. Although you do get 50 UPX just for logging in every day. So I guess technically they're paying the fare for you. All right, some kind of subsidization, social, social, socialism. Top five is a hard, question for me to answer. I think GTA is definitely up there. Maybe GTA 5? I don't know. GTAs are kind of all more or less the same. I mean, I really loved Vice City. If they could completely revamp Vice City, but then keep it the same as well, like, that would be, uh, I would enjoy that. Um, and I love the 80s aesthetic of that and the music. I'm just a floating grape, right? Where am I, where am I floating? There I am. Ooh, a corner property. Now this... The Indian in me is getting quite excited for this corner property. It's big. Could it be commercial though? That's the thing. The property you're about to mint. Oh, so you're minting property. So N as oh yeah, they did say this in the um in the description. Essentially NFTs of real property. Imagine this gets transferred into the real world. You go you go to these people's houses and like, uh, excuse me, I own the NFT of your house. So uh, I hope you're not planning on making any uh, big changes because one day the NFT deed is gonna be more important than your deed, sir. So see you then. As a result, they also come with the restriction that a player may only sell two of them in the marketplace per calendar week. What the hell is a calendar week? Maybe maybe instead of a business week? But I don't, I'm not looking to sell. I'm just, I'm a collector. I am the owner. Securing ownership. You gotta do an EOS transaction. I'm gonna have someone telling me like, oh man, bro, you bought a shit property, bro. 
That's a shit property. Yay! My placebo credit. Although, that will pay for a lot of rides on the bus, I have to say. I could take 10 rides on that bus, on that subway. Why are they, I really hate the line in which they're traversing me, but maybe if I go find a property I want and then try to traverse to one of the owned properties close to it, I should be able to uh, do good things. Let's try the subway thing again. Are there any FSA properties here near the subway? My guess is no, cause they know those are valuable, but let's see. I'm fairly interested. I, I mean, I'm, I'm very interested in technology in general. Blockchain and crypto seem, for all all intents and purposes, like the, um, like the future. I don't know for sure. The fact that uh, companies have started to adopt it as ways to pay, I think that's a, a big sign for the ad adoption of it. It's a weird concept uh, for a game, though, I have to say, because I don't know. I don't know what I feel about this. Commodifying the game world over top of the real world. Well, of course, I could just pay real money to get UPX, which I'm sure some people are doing. But what's the value of UPX right now? We don't know. We just don't know. What about some of these properties? Oh, these are real cheap. Oh, I can get at least two of these. Ah, that, that, now the Indian brain is working. Is it, let's see what the 24 earns 34, 18 earns 26, Let's see if there's a consistency here. 32 earns 46. 34 earns 49. But see, this 44 earns 64. I don't know. I think I'm just saying the same thing multiple different ways. Cannot own the 9-11 memorial. I'm sorry, sir. So am I buying this FSA? I think I am. So what if I hit treasure? All treasures are recharging. I don't know what that means. Somebody owns the federal building? Well. Hopefully it's the FBI. I wonder how they came up with these property values. Like, what are they based on? This is a, what is this? Oh, it's a giant church, which now I see the inside of. Now here's a corner property. Damn it. That took a while to find too. I guess I should just save my money. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find this unicorn. This unicorn property. I like how the game even subtly implies like, hey, everyone should have housing. So here's, here's, enough money and whatever to buy a small house. Small piece of property. Uh, who is, why can't I find property, good property for $1,200 these days? I just don't understand. Is there any property in this price range? I'm guessing no. <gasps> it's a dream corner property. All I need is a couple more dollars. I could put it as a tax write-off. Tell the government, I, I brought property. I bought property, government, hello? I mean, for $4.99 you get quite a bit of money, but I definitely don't need it. It is a corner property. Uh, corner property. Uh, it's, it's in the corner. It's a property. It's a corner property. It's a corner property. It's a corner property. It's a corner property. This is the problem with collecting. Don't you see? I'm an addict. Do you see? <laughs> Do you see? But it's a corner property, see? That's the problem. That's kind of the problem here. It's a corner property. It's a corner property. I, I've been looking for a corner property since we began this adventure, and it's a corner property. It's a corner property. Do you know how appealing those are? It's right across the street from Congregation B'nai Israel. You know what? They got me. Don't look at my credit card information, everyone. I deny engaging in a microtransaction off screen, and you cannot prove I've done anything untoward. You sure you want to use 20 UPX to send your explorer? I have 11 cents left. Oh, so you have a limited cents and they cost money. That sucks. Any more corner properties? Now that I got money, it's burning a hole in my pocket. Wonder if consolidation will be a thing in this game. Like somebody will want to buy the whole block, turn it into a, like a shopping center. Nice house. Be a shame if someone bought the NFT for it. There's not a lot to do other than ex than roam around and look at property. Well, I guess let me look. Let me make my collection, right? Own three properties on the same street. Own five properties in the same city. Own three properties on Fifth Avenue. Go to Pinata. Oh, so now I have a new block explorer. Get ready for what? To tap. Wait, repeatedly or what do we do? Oh, okay. I'm like, wait, what do you mean? I'm tapping. I'm tapping. Oh, come on. Come on. I can tap better than this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Not bad, I think. I got I got nice fingers, I think. I don't know why that's off the page, but 
Ah, oh, 70. That's a little lame. Let's see if there's anywhere I can own pro three, two more properties on the same street. Here's three FSAs on the same street. Although, is this considered 11th? So it's not on the same street. Well, I can definitely buy one more property for 21. That's for sure. Um, but where? Where? The Baldi Halal Mart? Of course. Why wouldn't I? That seems prime. I get all the halal customers. Oh, here's a corner property. How much? How much? How much? Oh. Oh, it's like anime. So I've made a total of $11,000 or whatever. My net worth, I guess. Five properties, two collections. Wait, aren't I an uplander now? Don't you just need $10,000? I mean, sure, 20 works. We'll see if that's, uh, if that's a mistake or not. So now I have 17. I'm able to buy another property. Bay Parkway. I doubt we'll end up getting any of those, but we can dream. I only want the corners. You know people who like crustless bread? I like the crusts. Only the crusts, mother. The crust of it all. Crust of Azul. It's like a s quiet street, but it looks like a fairly main area. I definitely absolutely did not engage in additional microtransactions again on this game, and I resent the accusation of such. Oh, nice. Oh, I can now officially be an uplender. Oh, I need to put in my phone number. Ah. Ah! Yay! We'll notify you once everything's in place for your Uplander ceremony. Oh, that'll be interesting. Two seconds later. Tap here to start the ceremony. Okay! Awesome job! You're an official Uplander! I get this llama! So if I get to 100,000, I get to be a pro. Like a prostitute, I think. I didn't even get a cool block explorer for doing that. It sucks. Should I change my- Oh! Oh! Oh wow, what are we gonna do? Alien? Helicopter? Bird? So, I did this to buy this property. Uh, hello? Please? What the hell? Are you serious? You jerk. Alright, I'll travel here. Next time I won't be so vague in my traveling. There's another corner property. Two corner properties. 37 and 37. That's me, right? Can I float over this way, please? I don't think there's any, like, rhyme or reason to where my properties are. Yeah, they're all kind of spread out. As a good property should, owner should. It's such a stupid, stupid game. Like, what a dumb, dumb thing. But still, I get it. Three, so five, six, seven. So I would need eight. And how many do I have? I only have seven. So I would need one more property. And I only have $700, so that means spending more real money. I feel, I, I'm glad I'm using my cashback rewards to do this because I would feel really stupid putting real money in this game but maybe it'll maybe it'll maybe it will pay dividends one day you know maybe this will be uh, a worthwhile investment uh, on the blockchain I, I have my doubts you know I don't want to just sit here and shit on the project but I definitely don't see it appealing to gamers Ridge Boulevard sounds small oh here's a corner though is this Ridge Boulevard though it is Here's where it ends though. So that would be one. Definitely a possibility. Oh, there's two. Is this Ridge? <gasps> oh. Discover cash back. Here I come. And that was, that's Ridge Boulevard, right? We're all on Ridge Boulevard. Ridge Ridge and Ridge. Oh wow, I can just barely afford it. That's great. That's perfect. And we purchase this guy. Now, well, in moments, I can do the three properties on the same street. Doubt I'm gonna find any properties for 1500, or for 1010. Here's a corner property though, 23. Any collection higher than where I am right now is probably gonna now start costing real money. Uh, well, it's already been costing real money, hasn't it? Where am I, by the way? And where the hell was I? Near the sewage treatment plant. These are both on Colonial. Does that really help me though? I just love being an owner and having a llama and globe Tell me so. Once those are minted, I should be able to open a couple of collections now. As my block explorer now tries to float off the map. Oh, this guy, what the hell? I would be mad, although he's slowly floating back from... What is that? I don't think you can own property here, right? We're still slowly, slowly floating off the map. Very, very slow alien. Am I headed toward New York at least? It's still headed out. Isn't that kind of like now I'm not even near any property. I guess now I'm just, I just go back to my home planet with my helicopter friend. Where are we all headed? This is just something that happens? 
You just start to float away in some kind of um, cocoon-like mission. We're just all leaving the planet. Don't worry about us. We'll be fine. 15 million UPX net worth. Look at this executive over here. This executive Oliver. Is it John Oliver? They own property in Fresno, San Francisco. That's an appealing price, those bastards. You know what's about to happen. I feel so dirty. Oh ho! Wassa 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 wassa! I don't know much about Brooklyn, but I know what I like. This is my last send anyway, so I guess that'll be my cue to bounce out of here. Am I a slumlord? Is this a slumlord thing to do? To go around buying cheap properties? They want to purchase 901 46th Street in Brooklyn for 2500 That seems very cheap. What did I buy? I paid 16 They want to give me 25 Is it a corner piece? It, I think every piece I have is a corner piece. I mean, I made money on it. I think I should probably take it. But the property across the street is going for 53. What are other properties in this area going for? 5,000, 10,000. With the prices around it, it doesn't seem like a good price. Well, I don't have any money, so there's not much else I can do with just 320 UPX. That's a ridiculous amount of money to spend on this game. I, I get the appeal, the addiction. It's kind of an addiction, I'd say. I think that is gonna do it for this episode of Game War. I appreciate you joining me on this adventure. Little bit of Monopoly, little bit of gambling, maybe? Who's to say? But that's Upland. That's gonna do it for this episode of Game War. I've been Raj. I appreciate you being here. We can explore more new and exciting games together. Join me on this journey, if you will. But until that time, and until next time, I'll see you at that time.